Now going over to the culture part of the podcast, you have Ben Shapiro versus Candace Owens. The gloves are off, although I don't know if they box. So perhaps more an apt metaphor might be the debate stage is set, perhaps. Now, Candace Owens is part of the Daily Wire, I believe. She's technically considered a contractor. She's not like full. In... It's a very interesting relationship when it comes to content creators and certain media companies, but she's very much her own voice. And when it comes to Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro, she and he have taken, and again, he's the co-creator, co-founder of the Daily Wire, which is one of the most fastest growing conservative media companies headquartered in Nashville, Tennessee. And they're best well known for, you know, Ben Shapiro. They also have Michael Knowles. You have Jeremy Boring being another co-founder. And then other personalities include Matt Walsh, as well as the comic section with Brett Cooper, as well as, well, I was going to say more recently, you also have Jordan Peterson joining the company as well. And Ben Shapiro, historically speaking, his family is, is Israeli. So his family, I believe, his parents, I'm not sure if they were born in Israel, but they were raised in the Jewish part of New York. And Ben Shapiro is very proud of his Jewish heritage. It's a big part of who he is and his culture. And we have this huge controversy, both globally, but also in the United States, in terms of politics and people and division of parties and opinions. Where we have Palestine, and have Israel, and the Republican Party especially has been bifurcated and split. A lot of people who are taking the isolationist perspective, saying the United States shouldn't get involved in anything globally. They should be, you know, we fix the problems in our own backyard, so to say. And then the other most popular opinion is saying that Israel's an ally. We have a lot of mutual beneficial relationships with them, and we should be supporting them at all cost. And in terms of my historical knowledge of the Palestine-Israel conflict, it's rudimentary to say the least. I mostly know the business relationships between the United States and Israel, and I know a lot of fun facts about the cybersecurity as well as the defense technologies that the companies, well, I say the companies, the countries share with each other, probably the most famous one being the helmet for the F-35 Lightning II manufactured by Lockheed Martin, that was a big parent company, or the, the defense contractor that led the project for the jet. But the most break, one of the most breaking, fascinating technologies was the helmet for the F-35 Lightning II. That was manufactured by Elbit Systems, which is the Lockheed Martin of Israel, although they do have a corporation or their headquarters in Fort Worth, Texas for their United States, Texas operations for Elbit Systems. And they created that revolutionary helmet where it is a $4,000 helmet, so you would think it'd be good. And it's a revolutionary thing in which no matter where the pilot is looking, they can actually see through the threat plane, very almost like a video game. So if they look down, they don't see their feet, they actually see through the plane, which is a revolutionary technology and is a huge benefit. And of course, in terms of cybersecurity, there are many breaking, like, not light speed, but cutting edge cybersecurity technologies. I was gonna say, if someone invents light speed, let me know in the comments, make my car a little bit faster. Nevertheless, there's some fascinating cybersecurity technology. So in terms of business, there are a lot of, I believe a lot of business mutual relationships that foster because of the partnerships and the cohesions between the countries. Now, Candace Owens specifically, she has been taking more of the America first idea and she's saying, you know, why are we getting involved in this across the globe? It, you know, it's nothing to do with us. And ben Sh the whole conflict started, in my opinion, when Ben Shapiro was actually caught filming, or sorry, Someone was actually filming Ben Shapiro at a private event in which he was actually saying how much of a disgrace Candace Owens was. And I'm trying to pull up the specific clip now, basically calling her behavior abhorrent. He didn't agree with her. And she also shot across the bow, so to say. So as I'm trying to pull up these first clips, and these clips are perhaps the most viral I've seen from the Daily Wire in of itself. So there's even some people actually also believing, well, are they just doing this for publicity? Because more people were talking about the Daily Wire than ever before, and there are more eyeballs on this issue than ever before. You look at the views of these videos and the statements they're putting out, they're perhaps the most popular statements they've made in years by number of views. Now, pulling up, trying to find that, and I apologize for the delay here, a little technical issues this morning. Let's see. Uh, Owens. Spelling usually helps. Okay. Here we go. So this is the first clip that started to catch a lot of people's attention. And this has been, it looked to be like to be a private event in which Ben was speaking out against her behavior. And without further ado, I'll go ahead and I'll play that clip really quick. Yes, uh, the, the question about Candace Owens, I think her behavior during this
So he's saying she still works for my company. That annoying TikTok noise, never, I'll never not get annoyed by that. Now, in terms of the follow up, Candace Owens, one of the statements that was the most viral came a couple of days ago when she said this quote, Blessed are the peacekeepers for all. Ah, grammar be damned, let me reset that, I apologize. I don't know if there's a cure for stuttering. I've, my theory is that if you click the subscribe button, it may help it. If you've been a long time subscriber or if you tuned in for a couple videos, you perhaps have noticed a rudimentary, a little, little bit of increase every single episode, perhaps. And I theorize that is because there are more people subscribing. Every time that button clicks, my stuttering goes away. My enunciation increases. My pontification is even more articulate. And I attempt to slow down my rate of speech so it's a little more comprehensible. Now, I'm not a doctor. However, it might very well be the cure. Click today and we will slowly find out together. That being said, this is a quote from Candace Owens on her Twitter, or as 18 people call it, X. She says, quote, Blessed are the peacekeepers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye, wide men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to one to one and despise the other. One cannot serve both God and money. Unquote. And I got 13.9 million likes. Scratch that. Views. 65,000 likes. Now in terms of views, again, that has to be just going to her main profile right now. And she's probably, at least on Twitter, or again, X, she's probably one of the most popular Daily Wire um, personalities and reporters or she's got 4.4 million followers on Twitter and most of her statements and tweets are usually getting between 100,000 300,000 views on Twitter I'd say that's a good average as I'm scrolling through her profile and again this got 13.5 million now, interestingly enough, I can't help but wonder, as we have this very divisive, controversial issue and topic, what are the comments going to look like? Mostly positive? Mostly vitriol? Let's dive in and find out. Now, again, we've got 13.9 million views and 65,000 likes. She also had another comment. She responded to her own initial statement. She says, Crisis King, I'm poking 2.1 million likes. Again, reverse that. 2.1 million views and 39,000 likes. First comment I see is from Owen Schroeber saying, quote, go Candace, go, unquote, getting 1.5 thousand likes and 228,000 views. Someone by the name of Mike Colligal says, quote, support the Second Amendment, making pe good people helpless won't make them bad people harmless, unquote, getting 2,000 likes. CG Bryson says, quote, glad you're posting Bible verses. Keep reading, unquote, getting 29,000 likes. Juliet Barnett says, quote, I don't think passive aggressive social media post is what the Bible means by peacekeepers, unquote. That got 3,000 likes. So looks like a couple of the negative statements are starting to brew to the surface. Wonder what that ratio is going to look like. George Galloway simply says, amen, getting 2.2 thousand likes. Heather Mama says, quote, with respect, this isn't it. You aren't being a peacekeeper in your stance recently. All you had to say was, I don't know enough about the situation to comment on it properly right now because blessed are the humble too. It's okay to admit you don't know. The wisest admit they know nothing, praying for you genuinely and the DW family. Getting, they got about half a million views and 2.7 thousand likes. Let's see here. JD Sharp says, quote, Tucker Carlson's new media company is patiently waiting, unquote, gained 3.1 thousand likes. Amy Libby says, quote, weaponizing scripture to make a really disgusting jab at your employer, classy, unquote, gained 2.5 thousand likes. Sit down, boofhead says, quote, you cannot serve both God and money, unquote, 
cough, cough, Ben Shapiro, cough, cough, unquote, got 3.2 thousand likes. Mr. Vase says, quote, Price is King, unquote, getting 657 likes. Autumn Grupner says, quote, Amen, gave 4.7 thousand likes. J.D. Sharp says, quote, Dear Ben O'Shy, Ben O'Side, Shapiro, unquote, getting Shakespearean up in here, this gentleman is, by making up words, but nevertheless, that statement did get 796 likes. Han Shawnity says, quote, Candace claiming victimhood again. She's not very different from BLM after all, unquote, gaining 1,000 likes. Ender Max says, quote, he, he was right, unquote, gaining 1.1 thousand likes. Let's see here. So it looks like, eh, I'd say mostly positive in support of her, although a lot of people are supportive of the original passage from the Bible, I don't, they don't seem to be, I don't know if they're not connecting it with the situation she is inferring with, and a lot of people are arguing she is inferring that Israel should decrease her operations against, Palestine, specifically the Hamas in Palestine, and that's why she's calling for peace, and of course there are a lot of other people saying, hey, if someone come and punch you in the face, would you not fight back? It's an extremely complex issue with history going back literally further than I've been alive. Now, in terms of Ben Shapiro and his statements, and again, his response to her statement that I just read you, talking about, you know, you can't worship money and God and bless other peacekeepers. Well, Ben said, quote, Candace, if you feel that taking money from the Daily Wire somehow comes between you and God, by all means, quit. Which is perhaps Ben Shapiro's most viewed comment or tweet or as 12 people call it x on the post post on the x reverse that they got 22 million views which again that is bar none the most viewed comment by ben shapiro i would venture to say well certainly in this calendar year but i would say in years now interestingly enough again he's the co-creator of the daily wire and of course he has his famous daily show and It'll be interesting to see. What are the comments like? Do they more support Ben? Is he going to get ratioed, as the youth might call it? Let's dive in and find out. Someone by the name of Cernovich says, quote, Must be too expensive to fire her. Would require paying out all or some of the contract. Anyway, chill out, man. You've been wrong about most everything from Trump in 2016 to the COVID vaccine to the Middle Eastern wars you supported. If anyone needs to pray humi for humility, it's you, unquote. Again, that's the first most popular comment. It got 19,000 likes out of 831,000 views. So that's quite a few likes. Now, the other top response. Now, I don't want to say this person fails at marketing, but this person's profile name is Shu, but it in fact is a picture of a woman in a jacket. So, not the best marketing. Nevertheless, this alleged Shu, but probably a real person, nevertheless, this individual says, quote, why don't you get off Twitter and talk to your employee face to face? Watching her publicly execute you on the TL has been more gruesome than some of the footage I've seen come out of Gaza, unquote. It got 17,000 likes. And thus far, he sees, appears to be ratioed. Let's keep going down. Candace chimes in, actually. She responds. She says, quote, you have, not, you have been acting unprofessional and emotionally unhinged for weeks now, and we have all had to sit back and allow it and have all tried to exercise exceeding understanding of your raw emotion. But you cross a certain line when you come from scripture and read yourself into it. I will not tolerate it, unquote. Now Candace's response got 7.2 million views and 70,000 likes. And again, we'll do one or two responses to her responses. Now, one of the most famous one, which is by the name of Cat Turd, this individual Although, alleged cat, we don't know if it's really a cat. Nevertheless, Cantor says, quote, Never could stand Ben. Glad, glad you're all finally catching up, unquote. I got 11,000 likes. Let's see here. Tammy Marlowe responded to Candace's post saying, quote, When Shapiro told Joe Rogan verse, 
Jesus was just some guy trying to overthrow the Romans. He lost me forever. How hubris will destroy him, unquote. Got 8.8 thousand likes. Anya Parapil says, quote, we recognize and admire your bravery, Candace. Get 1.8 thousand likes. Max says, quote, Candace, everyone knows why you, quote, unquote, oh, this is awkward. It's a quote within a quote. Nevertheless, I'll attempt to read it as written. Candace, everyone knows why you, quote, quoted scripture, unquote. As grammarly awkward that sounded, that did get 2.9. Again, 2.9 thousand likes. Raw Alerts says, quote, this is why social media platform is the best. It's always full of entertainment and drama, unquote. Getting 4.3 thousand likes. Now we're going to go back to the original tweet by Ben Shapiro. So again, the first three comments, one was from Cernovich, getting 19,000 likes. One was from Shu, alleged Shu, it's a girl in a jacket. That got 17,000 likes. Candace got 70,000 likes to his response. Continuing, someone by the name of E says, quote, Ben Shapiro got triggered by, quote, or sorry, hashtag real Candace Owens, quoting the Bible, OMG, unquote, that got 10,000 likes. Phoenix Ammunition says, quote, looks like we're having trouble controlling the height of flames, unquote, Ben, got 1.5 thousand likes. Now, when it comes to quoting the Bible, again, if it was a regular quote on an average day of the week, I don't think there would be, ha I don't think there would be any controversy except for the people who hate the Bible, but in this case, a lot of people are saying she's quoting it to relate it to her situation and fit her perspective. And in this case, throw shade at her employer, as the youth might say, which again, is kind of awkward to do that to your employer. And it'll be interested to see how it pans out. Now, someone by the name of Lauren Chen says, quote, Candace has been perfectly respectful and consistent in her commentary over the past few weeks. She's been anti-or or in America first. She's even had someone from the other side of the issue on her show for a civil conversation. And she certainly hasn't launched any ad homs against oh, people who disagree with her. Yet you've now, pub now attacked her publicly multiple times. It seems very personal and out of left field, unquote. It got 6.8 thousand likes. Someone by the name of 9mm SMG, though not the best marketing since they don't have a picture of a 9mm or an SMG. It appears to be a dog, but nevertheless, this alleged 9mm SMG says, quote, imagine getting ratioed by your own employee on your own post, unquote. I got 7.7 thousand likes. Quite a pretty penny. Three letter letterman says, quote, sadly, Candace has already confirmed that her water bed is heavily financed. And it's a picture of her blocking him. I got 2.3 thousand likes. Someone by the name of Morgan Ariel says, quote, leaving the Daily Wire would be the best possible thing for her career, unquote. Got 3.4 thousand likes. Let's see. So another very popular comment, someone by the name of Mitchell says, quote, Ben, I don't care about your feelings. Ben, when someone is criticized Israel, and it's a picture of Ben with short blue hair and a earring, they got 4.9 thousand likes. Brianna Joe Gray says, quote, you're trying to cancel her, Ben, unquote, getting 6.6 thousand likes. Joy Manayaro says, quote, we're going to follow Candace, S-Y-I, got 6.7 thousand likes. Daniel Hari, I apologize if you're listening, Mr. Daniel, but I, I'm certainly going to butcher this, or the odds are not in my favor. Nevertheless, I will make the attempt. Someone by the name of Daniel Hakiatu Jahu says, quote, what's hilarious is that just quoting the Bible and calling for peace is too pro-Palestine for this Jewish extremist, unquote. That got 8.5 thousand likes. Dr. Anastasia Maria Lupus says, quote, Ben, what happened to the 40 beheaded babies, unquote, got 8.7 thousand likes, actually. Uh, someone by the name of Sneeko says, uh, the soft N-word, the N-word doesn't believe in heaven, or this one, unquote, that got 6.6 .6 thousand likes. Unfiltered Boss, actually, trying to, trying to give a balance. So I'm, so I'm reading the ones that have the most likes and also are in order. Someone by the name of Unfiltered Boss says, quote, I'm no fan of Shapiro, but he is 100% right, unquote. That did get 484 likes. Uh, 
a lot of people oh let's see here black conservative educator says quote y'all don't have each other phone numbers carry on though unquote get 838 likes a comment in which they candace was on a I believe it was actually tucker carlson and she said that they don't they haven't even texted each other about this particular uh rigmarole or this issue between the two people norm cruz says quote i bet it's awful or i bet you'd be awful to work for it okay 1.1 thousand likes let's see here all right so a couple more supportive of ben so red wave press says quote candace has really fallen off i don't agree with a lot of things she says or does she was buddy buddy with kanye when he was saying anti-semitic things follow if you agree it got 507 likes Pradeep Shaker says, quote, she values money over her principles, unquote, getting 670 likes. Mel says, quote, you had 24 hours and this is the best you can do, unquote. Got 361 likes. Let's see. Matthew J. Shao says, quote, Shapiro needs to stand down on this one. Got 522 likes. Here's someone, a proud elephant, who does get an A- for marketing. The profile picture is, in fact, of an elephant, though the emoji they chose to use on the profile name is an eagle, which is good, but not an elephant. So they do not get any plus marketing. Nevertheless, the proud elephant says, quote, she's annoyed and delusional anyways. You should have fired her ages ago, unquote. Got, I got 243 likes. Adam Green says, quote, the Shapiro seething intensifies, getting, unquote, getting 797 likes. Xavier says, quote, why was this not an email? You know this used to be Twitter, right? Unquote, got 695 likes. Let's see here. Omar Gaffar says, quote, Ben Shapiro hates Christians, unquote, getting 611 likes. Though, again, I don't know how, I don't really believe that, considering if you look at the demographics of the people who work at the Daily Wire, I mean, especially the personalities, a majority of them are Catholic or Christian. Hey, Michael Knowles is a very proud of his Catholicism beliefs. And again, that's something that if Ben didn't like him, we wouldn't promote him. Michael Knowles started off as an internal employee at the Daily Wire, and they promoted him to be an actual personality and actually podcaster for the show. So again, I don't think that statement holds any weight. Let's see here. Wow, someone simply Dre's Van Lusion says, quote, Candace Owens greater than sign Ben Shapiro got 490 or 471 likes so there are let's see here uh, I, again I'm scrolling trying to give a balanced perspective of all the statements uh, yeah needless to say as the youth might say he was certainly ratioed because again I found a, I'm scrolling through and I saw a couple positive responses but it looks like overwhelmingly are against him for this particular tweet now at the end of the day it'll be interesting to see does candace owens leave the daily wire i can't help but suspect they daily wire would not want that because she's a big benefit to the company overall she does provide some balance most of the same interest in the stances that she takes on issues are contrarian to Ben Shapiro, Michael Knowles, the Brett Cooper show, the different pers um, podcasters and personalities that they have on their shows. So she does give some balance and a different perspective to them, she, and I'm sure she also brings a unique audience to them. So it'll be interesting to see, does she quit and go work with Tucker Carlson or go to an alternative media company? What does her contract look like? Is, it, is she an employee at will where they could each party could end the contract if they so choose to? Is she locked in for a couple of years? Is it a multi-year agreement? Let me know in the comments. Do you think Daily Wire would be losing a lot of their audience as well as, I was going to say, do you think the company will be better off with or without her? And at the end of the day, I wonder who's going to make that decision. I mean, Ben Shapiro, he, he's just saying you can quit if you want. We'd be interested to see. But yet another controversy in the conservative media companies and it'll be interesting to see how it breaks down and what happens to the audiences. And hopefully at the end of the day, everyone is able to find gainful employment and no one's unemployed for too long and the companies are both stronger after this and everyone's happy. But it's hard to say how, as, my, as a grandma would say, but, you know, how will the cookie crumble? 
be interested to see. Let me know in the comments. If Cancel One quits the Daily Wire, would you cancel your Daily Wire subscription and in turn pay for a subscription service in which she, a platform that she chooses, or she goes independent? Or would you just continue with your Daily Wire renewal? Be fascinated here, what you have to say. Again, thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Don't forget to take the time to like, subscribe, and comment. Trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of November. And your feedback is also greatly appreciated. If you gave me notes in the comment section, that's how I know what things I need to work on to make the show better and better. Also, and lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe, fight the good fight.